Hello friends, you might know that it is Prime Day and we are anti-Prime Day here. I am partnered today with bookshop.org to do a book haul with you guys in support of local bookstores. I will link down below a post they made about why it's so important to support your local bookstores. One of the reasons being they're not financing their CEO's space travel adventures. Yeah. Let's decide who gets our bag, okay? I'm not giving it to the rich who are um, wasting their money on adventures, okay? I'm so happy to be working with Bookshop. They did send me a gift card, so we are gonna go online shopping together and accumulate a little book haul and just talk books and have a great fun time. Yes, so ready. I will share the screen. Okay, y'all are gonna help me decide what to buy for this book haul. Oh, I'm so excited that I actually get to share this experience with you guys because I feel like normally book hauls are just like an accumulation of all my craziness and just random books that I've gotten together. But this book haul, you're gonna help me pick and I'm very excited. The coolest thing about bookshop.org, they have these lists. Immediately you're given list of amazing books that have been curated and I love diving into them. So like this first list, let's see, the best sellers of the week. Let's check out this list. Mm. Okay, oh my god, Iron Flame, oh, what the heck? Why is the sequel to Fourth Wing already being purchased and like being able to sell? It says pre-order, it doesn't come out till later, but like well, what's happening? That's trippy. I'm not adding that to my cart yet because I definitely need to read the first book first. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, ooh, I see Yellow Face by R.F. Kuang, which is definitely on my list to read, but I don't think I'm going to add this to my wish list yet. Let me know if you guys have read this. I am very excited to read it. I've heard that the premise is that basically the plot is about a woman who is stealing another author's idea, someone of a different descent, an Asian descent, and the whole plot of the story was you know rich in culture and this white lady took it and then sold the book as if it was her own <laughs> yellow face <sighs> so i definitely want to read that at some point i don't think i want to buy it just yet i do want to be careful with the books i purchased today my goal is kind of to have a fun summer romance reading list because i've been really into summer romances lately and oh perfect at the bottom of the screen there is a list for beach reads which is what I'm vibing with. I want my beach reads. I do not want <laughs> appropriation just yet. Uh, that sounds like a the fall read. I want something fun, quick, makes me sad because I'm alone, you know? Oh my god, why is yellow face in this beach read? <gasps> is it a beach read? Okay, now I'm conflicted. Ooh, I've heard a lot about a perfect vintage, I think, why is that so hard for me to say, by uh, Chelsea Fagan, who is a YouTuber who runs The Financial Diet. I've heard a lot about it. I really want to check it out, but I did read the premise. It's slightly older than what I would like to read for my summer romances. I'm trying to stick to 20-ish year old women. I believe this is a single mom. You know what, what if, she, what if she's 20? What if I'm full on lying? Mm. Well, I know it's a lot about architecture and this woman who is helping her friend um, get out of a bad marriage and then she herself has this summer romance. So we saw this list of summer reads. Ooh. Oh, we didn't check out the books so though. Let's see. I love this list idea because literally a lot of these books I have never heard of and I'm very interested in hearing about them. See, much ado about nada. Ooh. See, like, what is this book and why haven't I heard of it? And look at it, it's only 15 bucks for a cute paperback. A sparkling second chance romance? Oh, inspired by Jane Austen's Persuasion? Never heard of this, this sounds so cute. Okay, <clears throat> out of the car. Keep shopping. Okay, maybe let's check out the bestsellers page just to see, because they have the list for the bestsellers of the week. Now let's keep going. I cannot believe Fourth Wing and Iron Flame. Ridiculous. Ooh, okay, I definitely want to read Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. They have the paperback? Oh my god, I really want the paperback of this book. I don't know why. I feel like... Oh, add to cart. I feel like I always got hardcovers. I don't know why. Maybe because aesthetically I thought they were pleasing a few years back when I was like 19 and just starting my book collection for the first time. When I had money and my own income for the first time. Now I love paperbacks please let me know question of the day are you a hardback person or a paperback person because i think i'm now a paperback person especially with big fantasies i kind of wish i had waited after the release to get the paperback which means you have to wait a whole year but at the same time i'm not i'm not staying up to date on these series to be like i need to buy it now 
but I still go crazy and I still buy them now and I have a bunch of hardcovers and it's like how do you how do you carry this like literally why why are you so big the paperback like a quarter of the size and not a quarter I'm, I'm exaggerating don't quote me I know what book I want to read okay what's her name Alexis Ooh, what's her name what's her name okay wait cheating Dara <gasps> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I saw this book and I got so excited. Okay, Take the Lead, a dance-off novel, which I know is like a literal series. For some reason, this is giving me Bring It On vibes, but better. And especially because I really like stories that have acting involved. If you look at the summary or the uh, synopsis here, you can like literally screenshot it. But this beautiful book is about two reality stars dancing and falling in love, and it's so great. So like the little quote here is that it's fun, sexy romance set against reality star show. Love that. I feel like it will be so much fun. Okay, ready? Add to cart. I also love Alexis Dara. I do kind of want to read her next novel. I have You Had Me at Ola, but I know there is another book in this series that follows a different sister finding love and romance, which I love, but at the same time, I don't think I would love it as much because it's not from an actor perspective. And I just really like when books can relate to me very deeply especially when it comes to romance because romance can be a little cheesy so i like that extra layer of ooh, they're dealing with the issues i'm dealing with like she the protagonist and you had me at hola dealing with the consequences of people not taking her seriously because her romantic life is kind of messy it's like we don't look at men's romantic past and be like oh he's messy he picked uh what's her face uh angelina jolie over jan uh, you know you know that story brad pitt that whole thing it's like why do the girls always get a bad rep for dating and guys never do like taylor swift for example like why for what for why Por qué? Ooh, we have found a hollywood film romance book list okay this this website five stars how how did i how did i not know this book list existed <sighs> I'm so excited. Sizzle reel? That's an actual term used in Hollywood to talk about like your demo reel, your sizzle reel. It is an example of your work. If you're a, a cinema photographer, if you're an actor, if you're a director, you have your own sizzle reel. So that's fun. Immediately you're like, oh, that's a term we use in the industry. And then, oh my god, we also have The Stand-In, which I have read and really enjoyed. That one has great mental health representation. I highly recommend if you want Asian representation, Asian representation in Hollywood, specifically in China. I believe her background is... Ooh, I got a text. I believe her background is Chinese. I don't remember, so please don't quote me. She comes from a background that it's really frowned upon to have any sort of mental break. You need to be go, 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 hustle, hustle, hustle. You need to be perfect and pristine. And she hires a woman who looks just like her to stand in for her social gatherings because she did not have the energy to work in a theatrical production, which can be like an eight hour, 12 hour day. You're acting on stage and then having to go out and be social for dinner because your manager says you need to. Oh, the acting industry, rude, cruel, but highly recommend the stand-in. I did really enjoy it. Let's see, how to fake it in Hollywood looks really fun. I obviously added take the lead into my cards. Let's see, oh, Christina Lauren has a dating you, hating you Hollywood romance. Interesting, I didn't know that. Off script seems interesting. I'm not me judging them all by the cover. <laughs> I do. I do that all the time. Who's with me? Everyone's with me. Oh, I've seen this book so much. Funny you should ask. I didn't know it was about Hollywood stuff, but I guess it should. I should have known. It has the little chair right there. Ooh, okay. This is a series or this is a book that I've been really interested in. It is YA, so I don't think I'm going to add it to my cart, but like a love story. Oh, it just seems so cute. Like, just look at this cover. Look at this cover. Gorgeous. And only, it, it's literally 10 bucks. I, what? Oh, it's out of stock. Okay, I don't, I can't even order it if I wanted to. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's see. Debut paperback original romance follows a Latina queen. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. Let me actually read the words. A Latina teen pop star whose image takes a dive after a messy public breakup. Again, women breaking up in Hollywood. Apparently, it's such a bad thing. You never hear it about guys, so whatever. Until she's set up with a swoon worthy. <gasps> Fake boy, a fake boyfriend, fake dating, 
Okay, I literally need to buy this book uh, when it comes back in stock. I, that's what I'm doing. Okay, literally just me exploring the website and just shopping around. Okay, let's check out Remens. Ooh. Oh my god, we see here, take a hint, Danny Brown. The last Brown Sister book that I have to read to finish the trilogy. Am I gonna do it? Y'all have to bully me into it. Okay, let's see. Oh, Red, White, and Royal Blue would be a good purchase. I have not read anything by uh, Casey McQuiston. Why is that name so hard to say? Oh, also Emily Henry is an author I've really been wanting to get into. Okay, okay. I think, I don't think I want Happy Place. I don't know this description well for this one. I think from what I've heard about Emily Henry, the one I would want. Okay, I pulled up the Emily Henry books and I think out of all four of them, from what I've heard, I think I'm gonna like Book Lovers the best. It just sounds really cute, sounds right up my alley. One summer, two rivals, a twist that didn't see, that you didn't see coming, ooh ah. Me trying to give a dramatic reading, but also like literally not reading the words, why? Also very concerned that um, <laughs> Colleen Hoover said it's one of her favorite authors, because like, I have never read anything from Colleen Hoover. I probably won't ever, because I've just heard so many bad things. Uh, I know I should form my own opinion, but you know what? I'm good sometimes just following the crowd. Just sometimes. Sometimes it's worthwhile to just not dive into books that sound kind of wild and kind of crazy. I've watched enough Read With Cindy videos to just stay away from Colleen Hoover, you know what I mean? <laughs> you can yell at me in the comments, I'm so sorry. But I'm going to add this to cart. We love an enemies to lovers, and we love books that involve readers. So, and authors, this one in particular. So it just, it just seems right up my alley, and I've been really wanting to read Emily Henry. I feel like it'd be a fun video. I feel like she might be an author that I actually really love in the romance world. I feel like the reason why I love adult romance so much isn't because of the steam, it's mostly because of adults figuring out their ish while also chasing romance. I just find it very endearing. I love rom-coms, I love that energy, and I've heard that Emily Henry is more of a serious author. There's a lot more drama to her novels, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that, so maybe it won't be as cheesy, but more endearing. I love an endearing romantic story where you get to learn about these characters and really get to develop and like grow with these characters as they are changing, and I feel like the biggest change most people face in their life is when they have to like create a partnership, whether it's through through platonic friendship or through romantic relationships and those are just so like those stories interest me so much maybe because I have no friends yeah you heard it you heard it here folks ooh Grace Ann's picks who is this by fiction attack what the the amount of lists on this website is crazy oh a hundred days of sunlight by abby M emmons is an author i really want to support at some point i don't think i'm going to do it today because i am already at five books in my cart but she's a uh, author tuber so i i've watched her videos for forever oh better than the movies is also a book that i'm interested in reading one of my favorite booktubers says it's her favorite book so definitely want to check it out and uh, yeah i think it's a very popular tiktok book honestly i haven't read many popular tiktok books Ooh, shout out to the gilded ones right now if you don't have the gilded ones on your radar please have it on your radar asap so good if you want feminist if you want fantasy if you want like a secret religion origin story also villain story also just so amazing, mind-blowing, like that meme of Lady Gaga, just everything you want in a book, do it. It is so good. I don't want to like give you too many details because I feel like you just have to, you just have to get into it. It's a trilogy. The third book comes out soon and not enough people are talking about it. It's crazy it's on the list for TikTok books. Maybe because I'm not on BookTok or TikTok in general that I don't know that it's blowing up on TikTok, but let's blow it up on the YouTube space too, okay? Help me out. Blow it up, blow it up, mm. Back it up, back it up, E. Okay, I'm done <laughs> dancing. <laughs> okay, let's see. All Boys Aren't Blue, also been on my radar for a very, very long time. Okay, wait, let's go back to romance, because this is the summer of romance. I do definitely want to read more books about non-binary characters or trans characters, but right now I want summer romance, and I'm sure there are LGBTQ plus romances available on on the interwebs like i think songs of achilles is technically a queer romance so 
might check those out. Ooh, seven days in June was so good. Oh my god. Ooh, okay. Okay. I did just say I want my like summer era romance vibe to be, you know, happy go lucky. But I have the audiobook for this. And I am really excited to read this. I've heard nothing but good things. I don't hear too many people talking about it, but a lot of people on Instagram who I like look to for book reviews and trust say it's very good. Homebodies. So this is about a person, the protagonist, who is working in literature or in magazines. It's, and she's like working in media and she's really struggled as a black writer and eventually she gets fired and she's 100% sure that it is really racist and she writes a whole expose on it i'm like add to cart add to cart i need the tea i need the tea <laughs> oh my god like must know must know oh how cute this book i've heard really good things about too it, i'm not sure i want anything that's young adult like this just now but it just sounds really really cute a cute ya contemporary mm, book how adorable oh okay this whole list is celebrating oh my god i just stumbled onto a list it's like literally this website knows what i'm thinking and i don't know if i should be scared or happy because <laughs> homebodies is queer lit girl get it i'm so excited i didn't even notice wow love that for me want that for me mm, she looks cute oh my god me judging it by the cover again two very determined women in love at odds and risking a lot on a second chance mm, that sounds so cute oh and the paperback is really cheap oh love this add to cart keep keep scrolling i really i really oh you know what a book that isn't on this list that i really need to check out wait let me google it i don't know what the title is but i've been so interested in this author because my mom read her first book and then she started reading a bunch of her other books and it's about um like a bunch of cuban generations and like people who have left cuba and are starting to write stories about their grandma's past this author chanel clayton i believe she is cuban but i always stayed away from her books because literally all her covers look like this blonde white women is what we see and when i think of cuba i i think of me and my mom and my family which you know as you may look and tell we black so i always kind of thought this was a whitewashed version of cuba but my mom's like no no girl give it a chance it's so much more and i'm like oh but her covers scream i'm a white woman Ooh. and there is a lot of issues in cuba with colorism just like across the caribbean across the world it's a huge issue so i, I was always really scared to support this author but now that my mom's tried it i want to try it so i think i'm gonna do uh next year in havana uh which is a reese witherspoon's book pick oh my god which means it's gonna be a movie fun fact if you didn't know reese witherspoon is a diabolical genius because what she'll do is she will um get a book popular she'll create a fan base for this really popular book and then produce it into a movie which will then in turn create a new fan base and then they will buy the book and then they'll watch the movie and it creates this huge media like empire of people just buying into your content which is just absurd crazy and genius and i am just like girl let me get in one of those productions you guys know if you don't know i'm an actor it's my dream to be in a book to movie adaptation like children of blood and bone i'm still like let's see it let's see it i literally am so shocked that this website has so many great lists to look at i'm just like what girl i think that's it for book shopping right now i'm sure this video is a million years long i don't know which books i should order so please comment down below what you think should be the priority i don't know i want them all ah and oh how cute at the bottom here it says how much i raised for local bookstores so that's fabulous okay that's it for today's video comment down below what books you think i should buy and in my next video i'll let you know what i ended up purchasing peace out girl gal i don't know why i said that i just felt like it okay bye